Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all well. Today's video is a Q&A. I asked questions over on my Instagram and I will be answering them for you today. Do you have any siblings? I have one little brother. Well, he's not so little. He's 19 in like next week. So not so little, and he's bigger than me. I can't, but he's my little brother. He'll always be my little brother. The next two questions kind of link up, so I'm gonna answer them all as one. What do you do? Where do you study? And what do you study? I am currently, if you didn't know already, I am a student in university in Cardiff which is in South Wales, if anyone knows where that is. Most people watching this video knows where that is. Um, and I study media production, so that's pretty much what I'm doing here. Filming, it's all the behind the scenes stuff when you watch TV or films and everything that you see, there's people behind the scenes. So that's what I study. What inspires you to do what you do? I love this question mainly because I've never been asked it and I to do what I do as in what I study and where I want to be in the future a lot of things that inspire me are like real life events. I like to raise awareness of situations through creating a product. Creating something that you can watch, something that people can relate to. And I want to inspire people through what I create. I'm why did you decide to start a YouTube channel? This is actually quite a funny story. When I was about 12, me and, my, me and a couple of my friends in my group, um, we used to make YouTube videos, but it used to be those cringy, like, 12 year olds miming to like a One Direction song um, and we loved it, we absolutely loved it and it had always been something I wanted to do personally um, so I knew creating a YouTube channel was something that I wanted to do it was just the right time to start it I had just kept putting it off and putting it off and then when we finally, like I remember in our first year of uni, they said, oh, it'd be a really good idea if you've got a YouTube channel because you can kind of build up a base. And I was like, oh, this might be my time. <laughs> Nearly, well, two years later, here I am starting a YouTube channel. What do you do in your spare time? I film videos. I do like to take dance lessons. Um, and I also, I'm part of um, like a performing arts group as well. So I like to, I'm like in the adults group in that. So I like to take part in that. I like to do my dance lessons and film videos. What are your future goals? So I would like for YouTube to like keep going throughout the whole of my career. Who knows where that'll leave me but um but I really would like to become a producer in the future and work my way up and produce content that's going to inspire people and make a difference in the world we live in today. 
If you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? I don't know, that's a, that's a tough question. I've got, you can't see it, but on my wall behind me I've got a map and just the places I'm travelling to or like have been to, I colour them in and hopefully one day that will be nearly completely coloured in. I don't know where I would live. I don't know. I'd, pro I'd probably live in the UK, stay in the UK, but it'd be really nice to have properties like abroad so I could just get away. Just go and book a flight and go. I think that'd be quite nice. I don't know, I might change. might change. The more places I travel to, I might decide differently. But at the moment, I think my base is the UK. Whether that takes me to London, because that's where the majority of what I want to go into is based. So I might end up in London. But who knows? We'll see what the future holds. What is your favourite childhood memory? Now this question was asked by someone who I grew up with and she was like my sister. We used to call her like my adopted sister. My parents used to call her their adopted daughter. We were so close. We were like inseparable growing up. And I know for a fact that one of my like favourite childhood memories would have been a time with her but we had so many I literally cannot pinpoint one I, I, we had such a great childhood um, what is one thing that sticks out oh I know which one so my cousins just had a little girl and at the moment we are creating a fairy garden in my nan's backyard um, for her as she grows up because as a child my granch and my nan like made a fairy garden for me and my cousin and we've been talking about it a lot lately and it makes me smile every single time because I was such a grancher's girl. I love my granch so much, so much. Um, and he sat, he passed when I was like six. But I remember so vividly this fairy garden at the at the bottom of. They had like a quite a steep garden, so it was down in the bottom. They had a fish pond, and then all the fairies around the outside. And I used to sit on the big stone that was right on the end and I used to talk to the fairies as you do as a little five six year old girl I used to talk to the fairies and Grant used to say that that I had to be really really quiet and if anyone knows me knows that I am not quiet I'm not quiet in the slightest and um he used to tell me that I had to be really, really quiet because in the daytime was when they would sleep. Whereas in the nighttime, that's when they would come alive and they would move and they would play and they would do the, the fairy things that fairies do. And I, that was one of the nicest memories that we had growing up. It was it's just so special even to me now creating a fairy garden for my cousin's little girl um, it's so special and I absolutely loved it yeah and that really sticks out just because I'm doing the fairy garden now but you know who you are and we had an amazing childhood together my sister from another mister what is your favourite food? 
Um, and my favourite would have to be a quesadilla. Mm. I love quesadillas. Um, yeah, we don't have them very often, but I could eat them all the time. All the time. What is your dream job? I think I kind of covered this in a question before, but my dream job would be becoming a producer and making an impact on people's lives in a way that I wouldn't be able to if I was just at like a desk job, a way where people can view my work and think, oh, actually that's made me think just little that just that <laughs> this if you could describe hamilton in three words what would they be now i am obsessed with hamilton obsessed the film has officially been out for just over a week on the day I'm filming this um, and I am obsessed. I think I've watched it about six times and I've listened to, obviously hasn't everyone listened to the soundtrack over and over again but I am absolutely obsessed with it. I know exactly who asked this question and if you're watching it I should have known this was coming <laughs> um, right how to explain Hamilton in three words three words just three um, outstanding masterpiece Okay. Just gave up on me. What is your favourite song at the moment? I have two by the same artist called Anthony Ramos, and the one is called Mind Over Matter with Jasmine Cephas Jones, and the other is called come back home because that song resonates with me so much um, and it's very much about how I feel the fact that I want to travel and you really don't know what you have until you go out and you see different things and then you come home and you are it just sets another level for you to be happy and at peace and grateful and it really allows you to acknowledge what you have and I love that and that's why I love that song. Has quarantine helped you in any way? If so, how and why? Yes, it has. Um, apart from finishing uni, I have been really able to focus on me, my mindset, where I want to get to, how to get to those places, really increase my confidence in ways that would probably have taken months and months and months if it hadn't been for quarantine. I've really learned how to be in my own company for days and days, for five months, we have now been in quarantine, or I have been quarantined, um, and I've really learned how to just listen to me and what I want out of life and what I need out of life, which has been really helpful. Um, is there anyone or anything that has kept your spirits up during quarantine? Um, my friends are a massive like, 
uplift. Um, like everyone else, I have been making TikToks. Who hasn't been to pass the time? Um, someone, there is someone from TikTok who is incredibly positive, motivational, and we've like supported each other from day one. Um, and just we've got each other's backs. Um, I will link link who she's got a YouTube channel, so I will link her YouTube channel underneath as well. Yes, but amazing. I highly recommend everyone to go and watch her videos and listen to how motivational she is. It's incredible. Um, so that has really empowered me. Because one massive thing that has kept my spirits up is just focusing on me. As selfish as that sounds, I am one of those people who I'm the first one there for anyone else and I always will be I still am I always will be but because I haven't been able to go and like physically be there for other people I have really learned to physically be there for me which has been really really good in just keeping myself positive mindful yeah it's been overall it's been a good outcome and I'm re I am as bad as it is to say quite thankful that quarantine has happened because I wouldn't be well I probably wouldn't be filming this video if quarantine hadn't come around so yes I'm very grateful very grateful Okay, that concludes all the questions. I'm sorry if this is a really long video, but you asked and I answered. Thank you so much for watching. Please go to Bromilda's channel and subscribe. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video. Please comment anything you would like me to do or you would like to see. Um, please go follow my Instagram and I will be back soon with another video. Thank you so much.